It's another little thing I want to talk, um, touch on. It just dawned on me about just your health. I really want to touch on the health aspect of players and just people. Like, I believe I talked about it in one of my later or recent episodes, maybe the last one, episode 79 or 78, when I talked about when I went to get my teeth looked at. And I was speaking to one of my best friends. He's playing in Argentina right now. He was talking about the same thing. Like he was dealing with some type of injury. He had, I don't know what it was. He had some type of, something wrong with his stomach. And he was trying to make sure he goes to the doctor to get checked out. And the doctors was like, they're on vacation. And I'm like, where they do that at? You have a team doctor. It's like accidents and situations like this don't take vacation. But they're on vacation and they're out just chilling and he's just with some kind of pain and he don't know what it is and you need to be checked out and they're not really being attentive and caring about what he's going through in that situation. So I just really wanna to touch on how important it is to make sure you take care of your health. Take care of your health as an athlete, as a person. Please take care of your health. It's, as a basketball player playing overseas, you're not going to get the same treatment you would think you are going to get the same treatment. They're going to be attentive to you. They're going to take care of you. They're going to have, be waiting on your hand and foot. Not every situation. Some situations you're going to get that. They're going to be like on point, on target. Some situations. But in my 10 years of playing, I would say about 80% of situations that I've been in, they're not taking care of you like that. They're not going to have a doctor on hand. When I got my teeth fractured and I was in the game, there was no doctor, there was no paramedics, there was nobody on hand to just be right there and attentive to you and make sure you're good <coughs> and check and make sure everything with you is straight. They're not doing that. You have to be your own doctor. You have to take care of yourself. And when you go to like hospitals and stuff, the first thing they want to do is drug you. They want to give you these pills and they want to give you all these other type of stuff and give you just medication just so you just forget about the pain. They just want to make sure you just forget about the pain and not really address the real situation. And I've seen that, I thought maybe it's just my situation. No, it's not just my situation. It's people in bigger teams, bigger, bigger organizations, you would think, oh, maybe they'll get better treatment. But no, it's literally the same thing. And so I just say that to say like, please, as an athlete, when you're playing overseas, make sure you're very attentive of yourself. Make sure you're very cautious of situations that you go through that you know. Have a personal doctor at home. Have your mom or your pops or somebody who knows a person that you can call at any moment that you don't have to, you don't have to like fall into these situations. Think of my boy Jerry calling me right now. Are you interested in playing overseas basketball one day? I wish someone would have told me one year after college, I would receive my first pro gig. I wish someone would have told me that having an agent does not guarantee that you will get hired. I wish someone would have told me being cut from a team because after 10 years in this game, everyone gets cut from a team. Now, after traveling from over 17 different countries and winning up to seven championships in my pro career, I've put together the six most important traits any player needs before starting their career. So go ahead and grab that ebook and get all the information you need today to start your career. Now you can't say no one didn't let you know. So go ahead, grab that ebook and get started so you can become the pro one day. Let's go. What up, bro? You call me out. <laughs> hey, my boy just got his paperwork. I'm over here shooting the episode. I said, let me see what Jerry got going on. They just sent you that contract. Yeah, but I think that shit, and both of my agents and both of them like that. Don't sign that shit. Yeah, we're going to wait till tomorrow and we're supposed to get the Indonesia shit, man. The Indonesia, the Indonesia game is going to be crazy. But they, the, they sent that contract, so you just you got the. I got to do the sweat for the nine ball. Okay. The nine ball. That's cool. Yeah. How long is that season? Five months? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, the season starts, but I would go in February, like middle of February before, like, the, you know, training camp type shit. So I would go in February, like the middle of February, like the end 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 of
I told my agent already, like, I'm, I'm uh, in the summertime, so my, I'm going to play this thing for you. I'm going to play this whole time in, uh, what's it called? I'm going to sign again to, like, either Paraguay, fucking, uh, Colombia or Mexico, and that season, even though it's the summer, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my son and my girl probably with me that that time. Yeah. Those three months. You gonna take your people to? to yeah, I'll take them to Paraguay. You gonna take them to Mexico? I guess it depends where at in Mexico. I mean, if I'm in a city close to uh, Cali, you know, you know, oh yeah, yeah, close. that's different. Yeah, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Cali is right there, like you know, Tijuana and shit, like. Right. You know what I'm saying like. The time I would be home in the summer, I would just take them. Like, long, long as I'm, I'm, I'm making them money, so I'm like, I'm cool. I can, I can afford to bring them to the, uh, bring them with me. Yeah, definitely gonna be making some and good bread. Because like, I'm not trying to come home. Like, when I say come home, like, I'm gonna come home, but like, I'm just trying to work around the clock since I'm buying this fucking house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to pay this bitch off. Right. My boy didn't got him. He didn't cop them a crib. That's big time. You gotta work. Well, you you on live? You on the show now? Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.